So in this video, I'm going to cover installing Sentry Command and creating an app. So I'll start off with downloading Sentry Command, then I'll download the SDK XGIS, and then I'll go over installing Sentry Command, extracting the SDK, and then creating a sample app at the end. So to get going, I'll go to the support portal and download Sentry Command. Once Sentry Command starts to download, I'll also download EXTJS, and in this and the version downloading at this time is 6.2.1. So once they're downloaded, I want to extract Sentry Command. I'm going to extract Sentry Command into a just a, any arbitrary directory, and then I'm going to run it. The launcher will launch up the installer. And I'll walk through the steps and just click Next. I'll agree to the license and click Next. And select the default directory. I'll select the default features. I could select Compass Extension to, and so I could build older the older version of the apps. But in this case, I'm just going to select Next. I'm going to set up the path variable for the terminal or command line and select next and then the installer ins installs all the dependencies and libraries. Okay, so Sentry Command is installed. The next thing I want to do is extract EXTJS SDK into a memorable directory on my hard drive so I can access it when I generate my sample app or sandbox app as I like to call it. So I'm going to pick something in the C drive I'm going to create my center directory, and then the, in that center directory, I think I'll call it SDKs. And then I'll put this 6.2.1 EXTJS SDK in that directory. So I'll extract, extract that, or unzip it. So I've got the SDK unzipped, and you can see it's in the C drive, Sencha SDKs. I'm going to go ahead and close the windows I opened up and look at the guide. Sencha command has some other commands you can run, all kinds of features and behaviors you can activate, but one in particular is Sencha upgrade, and that will upgrade Sencha command. And uh, you can see the other features as I scroll down. So now that I have Sentry Command installed, let's go to installing EXTJS or generating a G EXTJS app. And so I clicked on EXTJS using command, and I'm going to generate using Sentry, and then I'm going to specify the SDK I want, which is the one I just downloaded, and I'll create it, follow the guide just like it shows. So after I've created my directory, I'm going to run the generation command. So I've picked the SDK. Now I'm going to generate my app in this directory. So I'm going to, once I click enter, the scaffolding will be set up for my application. Now that the generation command is finished, I'm going to run Sentry Watch my app, and that will watch for changes. So I could go modify the code, and it will automatically build the app and push it into the development directory. And I'll cover this in more detail in the following episode. I'm going to click Allow Access. This is the first time I've used this on the Windows installation. So 
it just wanted me to allow that. Okay, so now it's almost up and running. I'm gonna load up the web browser so we can take a sneak peek at we just at my sandbox app. And so localhost 1841 or port 1841, and there it is, my app. So I can use Central Watch and run that on this app directory, go and make a modification and come back and refresh it and it will update. So thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks and I'll catch you later.